So, um, I've been getting a few requests recently, um, asking me to make a tutorial on how to create a Forge mod. So yeah, basically, uh, this video I'll be explaining how I how to set things up, you know, and make a simple um, toggle spin. I mean, auto spin mod. So, first you want to download MDK. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Just download one of those, okay? And once you've downloaded that, you also need a um, IntelliJ IDEA. Um, I think it's objectively better than Eclipse, so get that. And you also want, um, I think, yeah, this thing, uh, Java Development Kit 8. Okay, you can download that, I think. Alright, so once you've got all that, um, you'll want to uh, find your, um, the MDK you downloaded, and extract that. Uh, with WinRAR, if you don't have that, what are you doing? Extract to, okay. Uh, once you've extracted the zip file, um, you want to, you should have this folder here. You want to open up IntelliJ and select open. And then you want to go to build doc, the build.gradle of this file, okay. No, this build.gradle, this one. So select that, okay. And you want to press okay. And open as project. So here we're not done yet, okay? Uh, if it says this, just just press the just press that, okay? And now you have to wait a bit. Oh, whatever. Okay. Once it's all finished, um, cool. Gonna open Gradle here. I'll um, press Forge Gradle. And right click set up decom workspace and press modify. And here we do XMX 4G and XMS 4G. Oh oh I did something bad. XMX 4G and XMS 4G. Ah like that. Okay, right here with a space and stuff. Apply. Okay. Press one. Now this will take um longer than it will for you the first time because it's remembered a bunch of stuff which is why it says skipped which so you'll you'll like, you'll like it remembers what to do so it doesn't do everything again uh, this is to dedicate more memory to the task because sometimes it doesn't doesn't work with the default amount so yeah we just do that If it takes a while, don't don't be scared. Unless it's been like three hours, so um, be patient. Don't don't go panicking. Okay, just calm down. All right, here we are. Let's finish this part. Okay, now press the refresh button. Okay, and now go to Gen IntelliJ Runs and just double click it. Oh, there we go. Now, see we have a Minecraft client. We see there's a big there's an X next to it, which is not what we want. So press edit configurations and go down to here. Wait what? Oh no, go up to here and select the dot main. Okay, whatever ends with dot main, you want that. And you press apply. Okay. And now the cross goes away. That means happy things are you know, it's it's a good sign. Now if we press that, you know the the the, the big button arrow, triangle, no, press the triangle. Look at that, the game's starting. Isn't coding amazing? Oh. Alright, here we are. Now, if we go into a new world, whoa, look at that. We're in a Minecraft world. Oh, this music. Oh, oh no. Oh, the memories. Okay. So, as you can see, we're in a brand new Minecraft world. Okay. Um. Cool. It's a bit laggy because stuff's happening in the background. But uh, yeah. I literally turned off the music. What? I still hear music. Oh god. 
Well, anyway, Minecraft working. So now we can start with our mod. Um, how do I make this full screen? Okay. So here, you want to open that. Go right here. And, uh, nope, that's not it. Go right here. Hit the Java. And it says tom.example.example.mod. Example mod. You know what? This is annoying. Normally, what you want to do is, uh, is, um, it's going to be your website's address backwards, but I don't have a website, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to call it Caterpillar. It doesn't actually affect anything. You're not going to get sued for not calling it. Okay. And I don't, I don't want this here. Just, what, 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 what is it? Here we have an example mod. Um, let's. How do we call it? Uh, rename tutorial. Jesus Christ. Tutorial mod. Yeah. Okay. And refactor. So now it's called tutorial mod. Let's call it this one tutorial mod. All right. And it's version one point So, how about? Uh, so this is the code that's gonna run when your mod starts, and basically, what we're gonna do for um a toggle sprint or an auto sprint, not toggle sprint, because why would you want to disable sprinting? Um, is that you want you, you want it to always be sprinting, and the way we want to do that is um to make it so that Minecraft registers your sprint key as being held down at all times. So first, we want to uh um register uh this you know this class or you, you see this file thing okay this entire thing okay to forges event bus um i don't quite know why it's called bus but what it means is that now if you put at subscriber event okay and public void well, he doesn't remember how we call it so like on client client tick and you put event client tick event okay now okay because it's subscribed to the event bus it will run this method okay what's between these brackets every every client tick of every time the client ticks you know it's, it's not this it's not the complicated i don't know i'm saying this anyway so and now because we've done this this code works and every tick it will run the code inside it okay uh it's part of the minecraft forges api so yeah uh, i'm going to key binding dots um set key bind state uh Minecraft dot get Minecraft dot game settings dot key bind sprint dot get key code. This looks really complicated, but uh, you'll get used to it and make it true. So now, at all times, Minecraft will think that you're holding the sprint key down. Uh, yeah. And this is a debug thing, which is um what you should normally use because that you change the code while the game's running which is like kind of epic or change code to some extent so now if we go into the survival world we had earlier you will now see that i am always sprinting look at that i promise on my on my channel okay that I'm not holding the sprint key down, okay? Look, I'm sprinting automatically. And I'm not like sprinting when I'm not supposed to, okay? I'm not like using keep sprint, okay? Uh, now we have an auto sprint. And this won't get you, get you banned on any server. This won't get you, get you banned uh, by any anti cheat because you're literally just holding down the sprint key. And not, you're not like sprinting without hunger or anything like that. And because of tick event, um, it runs twice every tick, once at the start and once at the end. And since we don't have to run this at like the start and the end of every tick, we can make it so it's only it only runs at the start of every tick. So if a 
event, which is a tactic event, okay, dot phase dot equals uh, uh, start, then we can run the code. And now, if we do run, what, build, no, which one is it? Run debugging actions. Oh, here it is. Cool. Now, okay. Um, it's gonna do all the stuff. Oh, oh, it's a green. It's green, which means it worked. So now, it runs the code at the start of every tick only, which will <laughs> make it <laughs> microscopically less laggy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to take this. Uh, I might like add more things to it later on. But anyway, that's this is just like the basic starting. You know how to start off. Also, uh, I'm not going. I'm not here to teach you Java, okay? So if you don't, you have no idea how to use Java. Like this, you should probably learn that first. And uh, my Discord server, okay, is not um. A, a for support forum, okay, if you have an error, don't go google it, someone else has probably got the exact same problems you have, okay, don't, don't DM me, okay, I swear to god, so yeah, uh, I hope you are able to figure out how to start making a Minecraft mod, oh my god, Alright then, anyway, that's it for this video, okay, I hope you guys learnt something, okay bye.